A classic horror movie turning into a pop-up. It's a time of the year for a good scare. Marcella Raymond tells us about Room 237 in the West Loop. Here's Johnny. Just one of the iconic scenes with Jack Nicholson from The Shining, and perhaps the most well-known. It also makes a good photo op. It's not a haunted house whatsoever. There's no one jumping at you, touching you. There are people who do, surprisingly to me, get very scared through the space. Guests start in the lobby, a replica of the Overlook Hotel where The Shining takes place. Make sure you check in, grab a cocktail. We have the red rum, the Snowden, and the What's Up Doc. Mmm! Fireball! And walk through some of the most memorable scenes from the classic horror movie. But remember, do not go into room 237. Room 237 is where Jack starts having some fantasies that turn very dark. We covered up the naked woman, you know, the kids, and if you don't like dead roaches and centipedes and things floating in the tub, you should probably avoid room 237. Because all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. Get one, get it, get 12. At the end of the movie, there's a party in the gold room, but here, all the guests aren't from the 1920s. They're from today. Dr. Fauci, with a cigarette in his hand? Of course, he's the only one, though, wearing a mask. Ruth Bader Ginsburg in a flapper dress, politicians, hip-hop stars, and the man who started it all, Stephen King. Stay for a cocktail in the gold room and drink in all the shining nostalgia. It's best to buy a ticket online. Reporting from the West Loop, Marcella Raymond, WGN News.